Back in 2002, when Tornado was sold to the Chinese for the Beijing Olympics, James, Glenn and I started Excess Rips. We've now got a team of around 20 guys based across two sites, Welling Garden City where we fit the engines and Hull where we make the boats. The guys have all been with us a long time and they're all multi-skilled. They understand every process of how the boats are made, which we believe adds to the quality, longevity and therefore the residual value of our boats. What's different about excess ribs? Well, excess ribs are all made to order. Every boat is built to the customer specification, so the client gets to choose the console, the layout of the console, the distribution of weight, the type of seating, the A-frame, the engine, the trailer, every detail of it. It's not just a question of slapping an engine on a stock boat. The performance and the longevity of the boat are designed in from the word go, and everybody uses their boat in a different way. So it's really important to get that build right from the first uh, the first day. Anyway, we're arriving at Excess Ribs now. Let me show you around. Making boats falls into three parts, the fiberglass, the tubes and then putting it all together. We do everything in house from scratch. We mix a gel, we gel the mould twice to give better thickness on the gel coat, we laminate the hulls, we use various different types of matting, chopped strand and woven rovings, all hand laid into the boat, the wood is prepared, the wood is put into the boat, it's fiberglassed in place, it's drilled through, it's ground down, the decks are made, the underdeck trunk is put in place, it's all laminated, the decks laminated both sides and then the decks put on. The console's fitted, the tank's fitted, the whole thing's trimmed down and then it goes through the tubing.
How long have you been making shoes, Melvin? I'd say roughly about 18 years. And where did you learn to do it? Tom Ed or Watts. And do you think you've improved the way you make tubes over the years? It, well, the world is a lot better than what was at Tornado, and I suppose, yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah? And what do you prefer working with, polyurethane or hypalon? Polyurethane, definitely. As you can see, there are a vast number of processes in making a boat. When it comes to making the tubes, we roll the fabric out and inspect it. We place the patterns on, it's cut out. The edges of the fabric are then skived or stripped back. This gives a smooth finish when we weld it. The seams are welded, the baffles are welded in, the ends of the baffles are welded up. The main seam, which lays under the rubbing strake, is glued. Once the tube is completely assembled, it is then pressure tested and ready to go on the hull. Billy, how long have you been with us? Yeah, I've been at XS Rims now for 12 years. 12 years? Yeah. <laughs> you do go boating? I do, I do. I've got my own boat, uh, XS Rim, just a small one. And yeah, I love it, kids love it. And what's your role here? What do you do? Uh, my role is um, make sure all these boats are prepped up and marked up, highest standards that we can do. Um, fit the gussets, inside bottoms, make sure they're all on security. Um, would you say attention to detail is an important part of what you do? Massive, massive. Um, everything that we do is marked up precisely where it needs to be. Um, and yeah, it has to be looking yeah. exactly how we need it to be. Do you enjoy doing your job? I love it. Love it. That's why I'm still here. <laughs> Thank you very much. No problem. Cheers, Billy. Bye. No years and then after that I was going to college and university but I carry on working for my dad in between and then after uni I just carried on building boats. Well when Glenn, myself and you started nearly 20 years ago now we just built new boats 
But since then we've added other products to the range. So we build a range of fiberglass dinghies. We build um, a new, numerous fish ponds. And we've also added fenders, inflatable fenders to our range. So there's quite a few things that we do now. Since moving to our much larger factory three years ago, we've been able to expand our retubing service. So we started a new company called Rib Retubes Limited. Um, basically to look after the retubing and repair side of the business. Um, we can have up to around 20 boats at the factory waiting to be retubed at one time. Um, we offer full retubes, repairs, fiberglass repairs. We also offer electronics, engines, anything that you want really. I would like to say a big thanks to all the staff that humoured us in the making of this video. We hope it gives you an insight into what we do and how we do it. And we look forward to hearing from you.